Glad to have you all here. For those of you that don't know me, I'm William Cash, Career Development Coordinator of the Community Reentry Project. And uh, really glad to be here today, first and foremost. Been working with many of you through Employment First, sharing resources, um, sharing best practices. And so we're going to really kind of dial in on some of the ex-offender best practices today around job training and job development. So you've gotten an early glimpse of what I would call an out-of-class assignment in front of you, which is labeled, for those of you that aren't here, a professional introduction. There's two sides to that. And I would ask you to take a glance at it, um, figure out which one of those you want to use for your professional introductions. We are going to be doing some activities today, um, so bear with me. Over the course of this time, I do want to get you all kind of familiar with some of the processes that we use at CRP. And just a, a quick snapshot on what the Community Reentry Project is. We work with men and women coming out of the Denver County Jail on misdemeanor offenses. We provide uh, uh, a number of wraparound services, including case management, um, therapeutic services. Um, we help support and provide housing assistance, transportation assistance. And, um, and me and career development, including employment, but also um, education, entrepreneurship, job training, all of those are part of the career development program. Um, so one of the things that we do in our career development uh, department at, at CRP is we, we do weekly um, career development workshops. Two hour workshops, it's an eight module curriculum or a six module cu curriculum over eight weeks. And we like to impress upon our clients how important it is to have confidence in their presentations. And that's not always easy. Um, so what you have before you is kind of a template, if you will, of what some people call the 30 second commercial or an elevator pitch. Um, but I would like you to take a few minutes and, and look at the professional introduction. I'm gonna ask each of you to kind of consider introducing yourselves yeah, Sheila, we're going to do some introductions this morning. I'm going to ask you to introduce yourselves. Maintain good eye contact, right? Anybody know what the word smize means? S-M-E. You can see it right there on the board. S-M-E-Y-E-S. -E smize. Any ideas? Not everybody Smile. wants money. What's that? Smile with your eyes. Smile with your eyes. Is that ivory? Very good then. Smile with your eyes. You're absolutely right. And so the, the important part about this is, um, and we'll talk a little bit more around, about this later, um, it's important to also be culturally responsive. We work with communities that some folks just aren't comfortable talking in public, whether it's networking, whether it's getting up and introducing themselves. And so um, I know we don't have anyone like that in this room, do we? So what I would like for us to do then is, is take a quick, quick look at that. Lay down your skills or the tasks. Some of you may need to fill in the blanks. Some of you may think that, well, off the top of my head, no problem. And that's fair. I'm going to give you a quick 60 seconds to do a brief through that. And then we'll go around the room and do a professional introduction. Who would like to volunteer to go first? Sheila, perfect. So let me lay the groundwork. We're just doing a simple stand, introducing yourself. Smizing, which comes very natural for you, and clear, light, clear tone, moderate pace. All right. So, hello, my name is Sheila Edwards. I am a business development associate, uh, work fair coordinator. Um, with the, with my most of my experience in human services, most recently I worked for the city and county of Denver, um, where I. I'm very good at facilitating workshops and developing work experience sites. Wherever I have worked in the, in the past, I brought three key strengths to my employer, dependability, efficiency, and loyalty. At this time, my future plans are to open a nonprofit agency supporting ex-offenders. Fantastic. Give her a warm round of applause. <laughs> An extra round for being the first to go. Very good, Sheila. Great. Who would like to go next? Any volunteers? I'll go. All right. My name is Michelle Bueno. I am a state 
um, Employment First staff member. I, uh, most of my experience has been in human services. Um, I am very good at developing, developing collaborations between state and local agencies. And in this position, I've been able to enhance program networks and resources. As a result, Employment First has been able to provide a shared statewide work site available to ex-offenders, which all um, the counties were struggling with, with prior to the Department of Transportation becoming a work site. Fantastic. Very good, Michelle. Round of applause for Michelle. You have to have this warm round of applause. Thank you, Michelle. It's going to start getting a little more difficult here. So I'm warning you, if you haven't volunteered yet. I'll go. Okay, Bonnie. My name is Bonnie Ermicki. I am a workforce specialist with most of my experience in case management. Most recently, I worked for Jefferson County where I was highly skilled in assessing a client's needs and job readiness. Wherever I've worked in the past, I've brought three degrees key strengths to my employer. Empathy for clients, good listening, and problem solving. At this time, my future plans are to uh, develop a program within the community to further assist our clients' needs. Fantastic. Round of applause for Bonnie. Good job, Bonnie. So, how is this process for you so far? Pretty simple? You've seen the soft skills and the hard skills, some of the things that we work with with all of our clients, right? So now, for the three remaining persons, we're going to role play with your professional introduction. So, I am a professional, and you are a professional, but you're a job seeker. And we just bumped into each other on the elevator. And lo and behold, you think I may have an opportunity. So who would like to go first? And all I'm asking is for a simple greeting, a handshake, and then I'm going to prompt you with a question. Don't let the question throw you. Still respond with your professional introduction. The consequences of not volunteering in the first place. So a simple introduction, <laughs> hello. My name is William, and I will introduce myself. And then from there, I'll prompt you with a question, but you're going to stick to the script. So Fair you're, you're the job seeker? No, you're the job oh. seeker. Yeah. You're the job seeker. That's your professional introduction. We bumped into each other on the elevator. So you ready? And you, I'm the job seeker. Yes. You're the professional, and we bumped, and I'm doing my professional introduction to you. And you're just going to greet me. First of all, you're going to introduce yourself to me. <laughs> I'm not good at this. Well, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's, it's actually easier right now than it is in a minute. So we're on the elevator. All right. Elevator. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sandra Gibliano. Hi, Sandra. How are you? I'm, I'm William. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I am an office administrative clerk with uh, my experience in customer service. Most recently, I worked at AD Works, where I was very good at providing information regarding services the Workforce Center can provide to job seekers. Um, I learned various programs working through the Workforce Agency as well. In this position, I was able to provide community service, community resource information to job seekers. As a result, AD Works became a professional, became a preferred workforce center in the Denver metro area for job seekers. Fantastic! Thank you very much. Give a round of applause. Did you see how I tried to trip her up? <laughs> I tried. It didn't work. Show me. Yes. Well, I'm <laughs> So now we're not on the elevator. She's greeting me. We may be in an interview setting. Good morning. morning. I'm Charlene. How are you today? Doing well. I'm William. Uh, tell, tell me why, why, why should we hire you? Well, William, um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Charlene May. I'm currently a workforce coordinator. Most recently, I worked for the Workforce Center. At Arapaho Douglas Works, where I was good at um, career developing, facilitating. Um, I have excellent computer skills. I'm very detailed. And in this position, I was able to assist most of the people in finding employment, overcoming barriers, 
and things like that. Um, as a result, I love the Workforce Center. I don't want to leave. No. <laughs> great. That's a great introduction. Give her a round of applause. Did she answer the question, why should I hire you? She did, right? She talked about her skills. She promoted those skills. And at the same time, she closed strong. So what we've done is gone from a simple professional introduction and leaned into a response to one of two of we know the most popular interview questions asked. Why should I hire you and what was the other? Did I ask? Tell me about it. Tell me about yourself. Most of our clients freeze up when we begin to ask those questions. Claudia, I haven't forgotten about you. We, yeah, we're going to reserve yours till later. Those elevator pitches, which ones? Elevator pitches. Okay. And how's that working? How are the clients responding to that? Your customers, how are they responding? <coughs> You know, I think they really get stuck on the, the part where where they decide, you know, what is it that I did at my last job? Right. Because there's various things that they, they've they done and right. things that they don't feel have been important. Right. So I think they get stuck in that area. So you're putting emphasis on hard skills, soft skills, those natural talents versus the talents and skills that they develop, whether through formal education or over a period of time, long experience, right? It still gets kind of tough. What I would encourage you to do in considering this format here is reevaluate this and look at it how can you communicate skill set to them because what we do with our clients on our Friday workshops is obviously we use this platform but we break it down even simpler it's a three or four sentence introduction hello my name is William Cash you state your work experience I'm a career development coordinator you don't get into the most recently you just talk about your hard and soft skills. I'm very good at enthusiasm. I bring a lot of enthusiasm to the organization and motivate clients. And I bring creative, strategic solutions to building relationships with employers and educational institutions. Hard skill, soft skill. I look forward to an opportunity for you to, to, to interview with your organization. And that's their professional introduction. Our clients have used that on the bus to get jobs at Coors Field. Our clients are using that when we bring folks in and are using it in the interview. So what I would encourage, the, ch the challenge that we have is when we prompt them with, tell me about yourself. And they're struggling with, well, I'm from Denver, I mean, but I, I, I'm a warehouse person. Or I'm, I'm married, I have two children. Or why should I hire you? Well, because I need a job. We pull that back and really just start focusing on how they can build a professional introduction. So, and, and, and the, the other part about it being a professional introduction rather than a 30 second spiel or elevator pitch for us, it does put them in that mode that we hope to get them into more networking. And that's one of the keys of why we called it that. Now, one of the things that I erased on here was one side is for tell me about yourself, the other side is for why should I hire you, but they're both interchangeable, okay? So if this is a tool that you think might benefit you or a process that you think might benefit working with your clients, so we're going to look at some of the particulars around the hows and whys.